And next we have Casey Alderetti, who is a product manager at MarkLogic, and she is a friend and champion of developers everywhere, responsible for our outward-facing APIs and, um, and developer tools. And so one of the advantages of providing support uh, for JavaScript that we've added is obviously there's more choices and options for the developer community. And one of the disadvantages is that sometimes that can be a little bit overwhelming. So um, today, Casey is going to show you how you can quickly stand up a JavaScript framework using a very popular project on GitHub called Slush Generator. All right, thanks. Gulp, Node, Slush, Bower, Angular, Phantom, Express, Mocha, Browser Sync, Bootstrap, Karma, NPM. The world of JavaScript can be overwhelming, but also empowering. There are reusable frameworks and plug and play flexibility, so you can get started and not have to build from scratch every time you're creating an advanced application. But where to begin? MarkLogic is also compatible within this agile web ecosystem with the flexible XML and JSON, the search indexes that adapt as your data changes, and APIs so that you can perform transactional updates and query anything. So you have this powerful platform, and you want to build JavaScript apps. How to get started. Today I'll show one specific path for getting started, and that's using Slush MarkLogic Node. It's a Slush generator that stands up a skeleton Node.js application running on MarkLogic. Uh, our field team, like Lanesh, uses it, and the app that Pete showed earlier also has the Slush fr framework behind it. So I'll show how to get started and build your own JavaScript application. Using the generator, we'll get this full stack JavaScript app in the next five minutes. So let's get started. First, install the prerequisites. Most of these can actually be installed with a single command, and they're all pretty common for JavaScript developers, at least as of 2016. So the Slush generator is published on NPM, which is the package manager for the Node community. So I just run a single NPM command to actually get the generator. So once you've got the prerequisites and you've got the generator locally, you're ready to build your own project. Here's the most important step. This is actually invoking the slush generator with a slush command. And I'll stand up my own project, scaffolding, from database to front end. My app is called Hello ML World here. So just by running that command, I'll actually have some defaults and some options to configure my own ports but I get this full three-tiered application out of the box. And then I have the folder structure that you see on the right. So we won't go into all these details, but it gives you a sense of all the plumbing, all the work that's been done for you to get these components installed and working together. So let's step through the three-tiered application, starting at the bottom of the stack. At the database level, there's the Roxy Deployer, which is another community project. Uh, it stands up the MarkLogic database, bootstrapping it, configuring it, deploying server-side extension code, standing up some database users and roles, and it also sets up a REST API so that the middle tier can talk to MarkLogic. Then you have Gulp. Gulp is managing the tasks in the middle tier. So it installs the Node.js application, the Express Listener, and installs the dependencies there. Right now, we have a very thin layer because this is mostly used for POCs. So in production, you'd want to more finely tune your integrations and your security. This is more of a pass-through proxy layer right now. But you could add your own application logic. Finally, there's Bower that's managing the dependencies for the front end. It's an AngularJS single-page application. And it comes with some built-in user interface components like search widgets, and it has some nice styling templates. So you can use those or customize your own. OK, so let's take a look at the app out of the box. So it's a shell search application. Oh, actually. OK, so it's a shell search application. You can see the toolbar. You've got some search results and some facets on the left. Um, I loaded the sample data that came with the project, which are a bunch of documents that describe people. And a full text search is available straight out of the box. So you can actually stop here and just use the app as it is, load your own data, and use the search interface without doing any other customization. Um, but let's see what else it comes with out of the box. So I could drill down on eye color when it's brown. I can drill into one of these results so I can view my document right here in the browser. Uh, this one's actually stored as JSON, so I can view it in JSON. I can expand the tags there. Um, or I could do a REST API transform and view it in XML. So that's available there, too. 
And while this kind of looks like a search app, you could customize it to be more of a, a create interface if updates are more important to you. So if I add a document on the fly, it'll be available in the search UI immediately. Okay, so we actually set out everything we planned to do. So we looked at the, cert, the getting started process, and we looked at the out, what you get out of the box. So we could stop here, or we could customize. There's a bunch of recipes on the GitHub website, and it explains how you could integrate with maps, you could add Esri integration, you could customize the look and feel even further. Um, there's actually a great recipe for adding a facet, and my computer's frozen, so we're not going to add a facet today. Um, but you can look on the GitHub wiki for slush mark logic node. Just remember JavaScript and mark logic, they go very well together for agile development. Thank you to the Vanguard team that maintains the tool. And use the project to get started today to navigate that ecosystem. Thanks. <laughs>